Hey, what's up, everybody? Thanks for watching Police Tube. Now, I've got a very special, exclusive video today for you. For anybody who's ever asked for original content or you wanted more original content about the Jeremy DeWitt case, well, I've got it for you here today. I had uh, with me on the line the other day a current Metro State employee who was willing to answer any questions uh, under the condition of anonymity. Anonymity? Anonymity? Monopoly? In, in other words, he didn't want to give his name. I mean, who would want to give their name on the internet? But he was very forthcoming. He was very open. He allowed me to ask any questions that I had. And I felt he gave an honest interview. So I'm about to play it for you here. It's a two-part series. So make sure you watch this part and then check out part number two. The link is in the description. Now, this Metro State employee, he originally reached out to me on my 1-800 number for police tube which you can see the number on your screen. So if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below, or you can call 1-800-480-8797, extension 5050, and leave a voicemail on the police tube hotline. So let's go ahead and get into the call with the current Metro State employee. Well, I'm willing to answer anything, any questions. Anything you know, huh? Nice. So, uh, yeah, what kind, of in, what kind of info did you want to put out there uh, that made you want to call in? You know, it's just the, the whole Jennifer situation. Pretty much her lying on, you know, the family stealing money. I've been here, me and a couple more people, including his family, that's been trying to keep his business afloat since he's been in jail. We've had Jennifer to contact us and be like, hey, we've got an escort tomorrow. Then she will call us or text us the morning or the day of the escort, and she'll be like, you know, the Furner Home cancel. So we reached out to the Furner Home, and the Furner Home was like, no, we didn't cancel. We're waiting on you guys, you know? So Jennifer is doing a lot of slimy stuff since he's been incarcerated, you know? Yeah. And it makes me upset that it seems she's putting this group that's helping him out as bad people when in reality it's her. We have done nothing. Me personally... We've, a couple of us spent money on getting these cars fixed up these last couple of weeks, like over four or five hundred dollars, you know, because we want to see the business grow. We want to see it get back, you know, where it needs to be at. But to get it treated the way she's treating us and to say we've torn his company down, it's all bullshit. It's all lies, you know. And I'm getting fed up with it, her running to YouTube and claiming us the bad guys when in reality it's her. She's the bad guy. She's the one. Do you watch her videos on company the, of, you know? Do you watch her videos on the Metro Station? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I watch them all the time. Every time she uploads. So as far as yeah, she's calling uh, the uh, people thieves that took the car. Do you know who took the cars? I won't say where the car is at, but the cars are not stolen. The cars have been parked in a place the last couple, you know, since all this shit been going on. And she's pretty much upset because she don't know where the cars are. So she tried calling the Orlando Police Department and filing a theft, but her name is nowhere on the car, so therefore she can't file the car that's stolen or, you know, anything like that. So all that is making her upset and mad. So now she's trying to retaliate and put out lies. You know, so that's why I really want to reach out to you so people can hear our part, our side of the story, which is the truth, which is really going on. Because they're just hearing her side and thinking, oh, you know, like she say, those the thieves. You know, we're none of that. We're all business mindset people that's trying to help Jeremy out. And that's all. If we were stuck to thieves, we wouldn't be spending two, three, four hundred dollars out of our pocket and not getting that money back right away, you know? Mm -hmm. How do people contact uh, Metro State for funerals nowadays? Because I noticed the number on the uh, Metro State site uh, is basically disconnected. Well, working with Metro State, you develop a relationship with the funeral home. And, you, you know, they give you their personal number or, you know, it's like a friend. You develop a friendship, business friendship, whatever. So um, a lot of the times now 
time since Jeremy's been in jail, the front of home will reach out to one of us, the, the few people that are still working with him. They will reach out to Ilya Wong. He's still there. It sounds like a broke up. And that's how it's been going since he's been in jail. So the funeral homes are uh, just reaching out to you guys directly, basically? Pretty much. Um, the, like I said, the few people that are still working or his stepmother. Let me ask you this. Um, do you know how many cars uh, Jeremy has and how many bikes he has? Um, we, have, we have about five vehicles and multiple motor, motorcycles. So, well, we got seven, including the two that she uses for her personal vehicle and stuff, you know? So like but she, she don't talk about that. So, so like seven vehicles, so she has two of them and then five of them are off site? Yeah. Yeah. How many bikes do you think uh, Jeremy has in his fleet? I want to say about 13 or 14, one or two. Okay, okay. So uh, what do you think about what you guys are doing? Uh, or what do you think about what Jeremy was doing? You know, he's accused of being a police impersonator. You know, what do you think about that? My, my um, whole thing with Jeremy... Yeah, he has a past and all, but at the same time, I respect him as a guy, you know? If I didn't respect him or if I didn't get along with him, I would have, you know, I would have been left back from state. But he's a good guy. I think people just need to really get to see his other side. You know, they only see what happened in the past or the accusations and stuff. They don't really know the real Jeremy, you know? You got to really work alongside with him. Like I said, he's a great guy. Yeah, we had our disagreement, but at the end of the day, you know, that's what any workplace, you're not always going to agree on the same accord, but he's a great guy. He's changed a lot from since I started working, and from when I go back and look at the old videos, you know, it's none of that at all since I've been, been working with him, you know. He does let, you know, I feel his ego get the best of him. And he has a mouth on him, but besides that, he's, he's a great guy. Never had no serious issues or problems with him. That's why I continue to work along with him. How long have you been working there? Oh, I've been working with him about a year and some months now. How'd you, uh, how'd you come across uh, Metro State in the first place? Um, all I can say is through someone else. Uh, do I don't you, want to give out too much with that, but through someone else. Uh, do you ride motorcycles? No, I do not. Oh, okay, okay. What do you think of Jennifer? Jennifer, honestly, <laughs> truth be told, I can see her get hit by a car, and I wouldn't even stop and pull over to help her. That, that's what I feel about her. And that's coming from the heart, because me personally, I feel like the group, of, the group of people that slipped around to help his business to stay afloat, we have never done anything to her or nothing like that, but try to help and be there in support. You know, but she took our kindness for weakness, and she pretty much ran over us and ran back to YouTube, and now she got all these lies. But, you know, like I say, I, I don't like her at all. She lost all respect. If she could be on fire, I wouldn't even spit on her to try to get the flames out. Hmm. That's how upset I am with her because I don't like what she's doing right now and trying to play so innocent when she's not innocent at all. Instead of her being truthful and real, she rather lie and paint this horrible picture or image of us. She's delusional. She's delusional. It's f she's not smart at all. She's very dumbfounded. And it's... It's very stressful to work with her. She has a child like mine. Like, she's in her own kitty-type princess imagination-type shit. And it's just, it, it's irritating. I hate working with her. I hate doing escorts with her, you know? But I do it out of the respect of Jeremy. And her being whatever she want to consider herself, abundant, whatever, whatever. But I don't like her. I never did. I never vibed with her, but 
she's really trying, showing her true colors as of right now. And it's it's really, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. You think she would be good at uh, figuring out a puzzle? <laughs> figuring out a problem, uh, like a puzzle type thing? Think, she, she will catch hell trying to figure out and get frustrated and probably quit. Trying to. Like if she locked her keys in her car, you know, is she gonna be able to figure that one out, or is she gonna have to call someone for uh, to help figure it out? Knowing her, she probably trying to break the window and get it out. She <laughs> won't even call nobody. They'll probably bust the window and try to get it out. <laughs> That's a good one. <clears throat> hey, could you send me like a picture of a uh, like a Metro State car with police tube? written on it or like a note or something like that that way people are like wow how does police tube have that would that be uh something that would be possible what do you want me to do now uh like if you could send me uh, like some inside like an inside picture uh with uh like police tube associated with one of the cars somehow maybe a note or something like that i don't know like maybe written in the dust or something like a video that i could put up on the channel at the beginning of one of my videos or something, that way the viewers are like, wow, how'd he get that? You know, how'd he get his name written in the Metro State car? All right, so what I would do, I'm out handling business right now, but when I get back to the area that the cars are, um, I will get a permanent marker and I'll get a white piece of paper or something and I'll write police tube on it and stick it on the car and... Will that work for you? Yeah, that would be amazing because people would really wonder, you know, how'd I come across that? All right, huh? all right. Just to clear the air, we have no keys to these cars. It's stuff to have all the keys. Oh, really? But the cars are parked at a isolated place. And then the... We're going we to park the cars at an isolated place. The cars aren't stolen. The cars have not been stuck in. They are in an isolated place. And so Jeremy gets out of jail and... Did you see my video about where the cars were at? Which, no, I don't think I watched that one. Oh, yeah, I put up a video you know, saying the cars weren't stolen and they weren't repossessed. You know, Basically that his mom and Leandra took the cars and they're hiding them, like you said. It's the only yeah, that, logical that's thing. that's all it is, you know? They're not stolen or anything. She's upset because Jennifer is upset because she don't know where the cars are located. Okay, guys, we're going to go ahead and pause it there and continue this video in part two. The link is down in the description, so you can click that. Make sure you uh, like this video and subscribe to my channel. And what I want you to do is leave a comment down below, especially in the next video. I want you to comment any questions that you have that you'd like me to ask Metro State because I'm going to be doing a follow-up interview with them. And so I'll, I want to take some user-generated questions from you guys, the audience, and ask those to the uh, Metro State employees when I talk to them next. So leave those comments down below, subscribe to my channel, like this video, and then click the link in the description to watch part two. And as always, guys, thank you for watching Police Tube.